Hi, I'm Victoria McCooey, and today I'm going to talk about the three ways you can undo the damage of narcissistic abuse. But first, will you please take a moment and subscribe to my channel? This is how I'm going to be able to reach more people who really need to hear this information. So, first of all, what does narcissistic abuse do to you? What, what is the damage caused by narcissistic abuse? Well, first of all, first of all, it whittles away at your self-esteem. So the verbal abuse, the psychological abuse, the emotional abuse, the name calling, the minimizing, the diminishing, the making you feel not enough, not, not good enough, not smart enough, not pretty enough, not whatever enough. All of this abuse, all of that abusive behavior whittles away at your self-esteem. It makes you feel not good enough, uh, not confident, um, questioning your abilities. Uh, it really, really tackles your, your confidence and makes you just feel like a shell of a person. Um, the other thing it does is it makes you question your reality because you're being gaslighted probably you're thinking that what's real is not real and what's not real is real. So you're so off balance. You have no idea of what really is true anymore. Um, and the third thing that it can do to you is make you feel isolated. First of all, that's one of the tactics is to actually isolate you from friends and family. Um, but also you feel isolated because you can't talk to anyone about this. First of all, it doesn't, it, it would make you seem like uh, you're crazy because the covert narcissist is not showing that side of himself to anyone else. So you're afraid of, of looking like you're crazy if you tell them what's really happening or um, you feel isolated because you don't think anyone else has ever been in a situation like you are in, and that's wrong because a lot of people have been in this situation, but you don't know that when you're going through it because no one talks about it. So you assume you're the only one and it can really be isolating. Okay, so here's how you undo all of those years of insidious uh, damage, um, that the damage that's like a slow drip just wearing away at you. All right, the first thing you can do is to say affirmations. This is like the opposite of verbal abuse, right? This is the same technique in that saying something over and over, but instead of making you feel worse about yourself, it makes you feel better about yourself. So saying these affirmations does this has the same um, this the same product, the same uh, result by getting you to believe this, even if it's not true at first, but if you tell yourself that you're worthy, that you matter, that w whatever, um, you will start believing it because you're going to hear it every single day. And it's going to start seeming like your reality and you're st going to start stepping into that person that you're telling yourself you are. Um, if you want some affirmations, the ones I give to my clients and the ones I use, you can reach out to me and I will be happy to send them to you. Also, um, another way that you can undo the damage of narcissistic abuse is to pamper yourself. Make yourself a priority. You've been back burnered, right? You've been made to feel like you're not a priority, like your needs don't matter, you don't come first ever, everyone else is before you. So to undo that, you have to get used to taking care of yourself. Um, so this is what I tell my clients to do every single day to do something really luxurious for themselves. And this doesn't have to be a big expense. It can mean taking a bubble bath, buying some bath oils or bath or bubbles or whatever seems special to you or or not or just a regular bath um light candles play music make it special um carve that time out for yourself and it doesn't have to be a bath it can be watching a favorite old movie it can be going for a long walk 
It can be going for a bike ride. It could be uh, joining a dance class or a gym or something special that you would normally do for yourself or maybe getting a massage. Maybe that's something you can't do every day. Maybe you can do it once a month. Maybe you can get a facial. Uh, whatever it is that makes you feel pampered, worthy, like you are doing something luxurious for yourself, those things are so important. Um, the last thing, number three, is to get a supportive community of people who understand what you're going through and what narcissistic abuse is like. Um, someone who speaks your language, someone who has walked in your shoes, people who get the joke on what this feels like. That is how you're going to start feeling like it's not you. Um, and the damage will start getting undone when you realize that you're one of many, many people who've been on the receiving end of narcissistic abuse and there's nothing wrong with you, all right? So if you are looking for that kind of community, I've got one. We meet every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, it's a group coaching program that I facilitate and uh, I do some coaching, but mostly everyone talks about whatever they want to talk about. Everyone's in different places in their journey. Um, some are still in a marriage to a narcissist, some are in a divorce from a narcissist, and many of them are on the other side out of that um, relationship. So it's a really supportive, wonderful community that is helping all of us heal, everyone um, undoing the damage that the narcissist has, has done, has inflicted. All right, if you want to learn more about that, there is a link in the description and uh, you can find out more and I hope that helps. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you next time.